Okay, now we're going to talk about one of the most fundamental concepts in physics known as inertia. Okay, I tell my students, we talk about this, and I say, inertia is the property of something that wants to stay where it is. It describes how much it's hard to change its state. And then I, I, I ask them, what's the best measure of inertia? I, I say, is it volume? Is it temperature? Is it mass? Is it weight? Is it uh, pressure? And we come to the conclusion that it is the mass. The mass of something is the best measure of its inertia. Because if it's something has a lot of mass, it's hard to make it change its state. And that's where Newton's law comes in. F equals ma, right? So uh, m is f over a. So you can almost define the mass of something as the ratio of how much force it takes to make it accelerate. If the mass is small, for a given amount of acceleration, it takes a small force. So you can say this is like little f. If the mass is big, then for a given amount of acceleration, it takes a lot of force to make it accelerate. So if the mass of something, if the inertia of something is big, is heavy, then it takes a lot of force to make it, to make it change its state. So one of the things that we can use to illustrate inertia is this. It's kind of like a heavy ball. Or really, all, all it really is is a heavy ball. There's two hooks and a string there and a, uh, another string here. So the idea is this. If I pull on this string very rapidly, then it's not going to want to come along with me. Okay? It, it wants to stay there. So if I pull very rapidly, then the bottom string is the one that's going to break. So let's try this. Okay, so notice the bottom string broke. Because I was trying to rapidly make a change of state, the ball did not want to come along with me. Okay, now if I take the string and pull on it slowly, just nudging at it, then the ball wants to come along. Its, it's, it's uh, inertia does not resist me as much because I'm not causing a big acceleration in its state. So the ball more likely will come with me and then the top string will break. So just be careful here, pull slowly. is inertia right there. Now I have over here another demonstration of inertia. You've seen magicians use this all the time. They have some kind of cloth and they have some cups and uh, plates on it, glasses. Then they immediately pull the cloth and nothing on the table moves. They're using the concept of inertia. They're pulling it, they're yanking on it really quickly and then the things are staying wherever they are, the plates or the cups. So this is kind of the same idea. I have a place where I can rest the ball here. Okay, then I could put a card here, a note card. So now I have, I have it here. So what I'm gonna do, instead of yanking, yanking it away, I'm gonna use this, pull it, and hit really hard on the note card. And what I'm hoping is if I hit the note card fast enough, the ball does not want to go with the uh, card. The ball wants to stay where it is. Its inertia will make it stay. So let's try this. Okay. I did not make a good hit here. Okay, try it again.
the ball, I hit the card very, very well, straight, dead on. The ball stayed where it was. That was awesome. Thank you.